这这这这这真理太奇妙。Wondered what happens when you cross Polo with a dash of Canal Evans. How about roller skating with the schoolyard game of British Bulldog? Well, the answer is bike polo and roller derby. And here's Scott Reed to tell us more. Roller derby first started in 1935 in Chicago, Illinois. It has had revivals in the 60s and 70s, and was most recently brought back again in 2001 in Austin, Texas. While the sport has its origins in the banked track roller skating marathons of the 30s. Two men are actually credited with the basic evolution of the sport into its current competitive form. With the many, many knocks, injuries, and hard blows, it's a highly physical contact sport, needing the use of helmets, elbow and knee pads, wrist, and even mouth guards. Two teams of five players move in one direction, counterclockwise, around a circuit track. One player, the jammer, has to lap the opposing team to score a point. That player's team assists them to move past the opposing team. They also try to block the opposing team's jammer from passing them. Any contact by hands, elbows, head, and feet are prohibited, as is blocking above the shoulders or below mid thigh. Only contact from the front and side of players is legal. Bike polo first started in Seattle, Washington, in the early 2000s. The sport was originally started by bike messengers who were looking for something to do in their downtime. It has been played in Australia for three years with an ever-growing popularity, with the first World Championships being held in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in 2009. The first Australasian Championships were held in Melbourne that same year. Two teams of three members play in an enclosed area, usually a parking lot, basketball or tennis court, or something similar. Witches' hats, or possibly small goals, are placed at the far ends of the court, with the ball in the middle. At the beginning of the game, both teams charge at the ball from each end. They normally use homemade mallets made from strong piping for the head and a ski pole as the shaft. Any bike can be used. However, fixed or single gear bikes are generally best. Sometimes homemade wheel covers are used to protect the spokes and to effectively block the ball, which is usually a hockey ball. <laughs> 